Hello and welcome to Easy TV. My name is Michael Davies and today I will be going over how to use the search feature in Easy Packs under the folder tab and how to decipher the hierarchy of patient information. After learning the ins and outs of the Easy Packs, you will find that it is a simple and very useful tool for retrieving and editing patient studies amongst other functionalities. Now we begin today by accessing the packs itself and to do that just open up your web browser and type in your unique URL and then come down here to the username and password fields and type in your username. In this case I'll be logging in as the admin. The folder tab is the default home page after logging in to the system and below the folder tab you will notice a search box and within the search box are a series of fields that can be populated with patient information when conducting a search. This information includes the patient's name, patient ID, study date, a session number, the modality in which the study was conducted, and the source AE title. You can specify an exact search. You can order the studies being searched by latest studies first and you can specify what it is exactly you are searching for, including the patient, study, studies with unlinked PPS, studies without PPS, and studies without a work list. The Expand To option allows you to choose what is displayed after typing in your search criteria, including the patient, study, series, or instance hierarchy. Also, below the exact search checkbox, there is a drop-down arrow which allows you to further specify your search, allowing you to include the patient's birth date, the study instance UID, and the series instance UID, which also includes the option to show only the exact series. In order to populate all of the patients underneath the search box, just come over here and click on search. And this will bring up all the patients and the patient's information within your packs. The page size feature allows you to choose how many patients are populated per page and the options include 10, 25, 50, or 100 patients. Right next to the page size feature is the number of studies that are being displayed currently on each page. So before you begin typing in the patient information, it's important to choose what you are searching for because depending on your search, if you type in patient, the study date a session number, modality, and source AE title are all blocked out, leaving only the patient name and patient ID available to type in for the search. However, if you choose the search for the study, all of these search fields open up. So I'm going to choose to search for the study, and I'm going to type in the family name, which is the last name, the given name, which is the first name, the patient ID number, and the modality that was used in conducting the study. I'm going to choose to expand to the series hierarchy and then I'm going to click search. As you can see the patient Charles Barkley is populated and the hierarchical level that is shown is the series. Now to figure out which hierarchy is being shown up here is a key that shows what information is displayed at each hierarchical level and the color coding that goes with each level. The Easy Packs uses an intuitive patient name retrieval software and so it is easy to find patients in the system even when their exact name or spelling is unknown. For example, initiating the phonetic feature allows the user to use the phonetic spelling of a name to find a patient. An even simpler way to retrieve patient information is to type a single letter in the family or given name box or both. The PAC software also recognizes segments of patient IDs. To log out of the PAC, simply come up to the top right of the screen and click log out. 